Well, today, the fight over the placement of a sexually violent predator in the East County picks back up again. This was at the center of a hearing today. In fact, a lot of people were lined up outside the downtown courtroom. The judge decided the placement rather was not appropriate after all. And as News 8's Allison Royal reports, some people certainly made their voices heard. Good morning. Well, the judge did not allow people physically inside the courtroom, but a number of people living in the Mount Helix area called in via Zoom to voice their concerns about a sexually violent predator being placed in an El Cajon home, including some of these people right behind me who say they can't have another sexually violent predator living in this home on Horizon Hills Drive. There is a placement hearing underway for sexually violent predator Merle Wakefield. He was convicted in 1981 and then in 1990, according to the court system. Then in 1998, the San Diego Superior Court System classified him as a sexually violent predator. He has been recommitted twice since then, once in 2000 and once in 2009, according to the DA. Then in 2020, two doctors recommended that Wakefield be safely placed in a home here in San Diego County. However, there are some people who say that it's unfair that so many of these sexually violent the predators are recommended to be housed in the East County area as opposed to say some of the other parts of our county like North County where they don't tend to send sexually violent predators. So the for profit Liberty Healthcare oversees these predators and said it will monitor them and continue their rehabilitative health care. Now if this story sounds familiar you're right we were just out here on Union Street a couple of weeks ago covering a hearing for Douglas Badger. Now he is a completely separate sexually violent predator with his own felonies that he's been convicted of but he is being recommended to live in that exact same home with Wakefield in the El Cajon area. There was a hearing for them and multiple people called in as they did today, citing concerns that there are multiple daycare, schools, parks, and other family-friendly facilities in the area that make a significant safety risk in the community. This is what one mom, Suzanne, had to say. She came here with her daughter and her mother. Can you imagine having your daughter, your eight-year-old son, who help elderly neighbors go and pick their fruit and help them out, that will be taken away from my children. All the things that we love about our community, all the people I love there will be made prisoners, will be filled with anxiety and fear. These men have to go somewhere. We're saying, no, this cannot happen in a family-friendly, dense community. A lot of families weighing in here as this seems to be a reoccurring theme in the Mount Helix neighborhood. Now, for the latest on this case, including Wakefields, you can always check our website. That is CBS8.com.